Good evening. Tonight I will be felting a little cat. This is a request from a subscriber named Janet Crompton. Cats are not my strong suit, but I will do my best. Uh, for those of you who are looking for more of a taxidermy, more realistic looking cat, that is not what I do. Uh, more of a cartoony kind of toy-like uh, cat is what I will be felting today. Before I begin, if you like my content, please like and subscribe. You can find me on Facebook at The Hobby Bird and Robin's Cozy Creations. I will put the links in the description below. I am going to start with this taupey beige color. And I'm going to roll it to make the body. And so I'm going to fold it up like this once and then I'm going to just roll it inward like this. To begin with now I'm just going to go for this kind of cone shape and once I've got that then we'll start shaping it into the cat's body. Now before I felt this too tight, I'm going to start just bending it a little like this because I want a curvature, I want it to be curved like so. See so it kind of looks like a horn? So I'm going to start felting in this area and just kind of pushing it. So you've got that basic shape and now what we're going to do is I'm just going to put a little white on the belly here just to just a tad just to lighten it up a little a little bit of contrast I don't need too much of this. Got two that seems fairly equal. And we're just going to place that on top here and then just kind of felt it into a circular kind of shape. Here you can felt a crease. And this will be the the back leg basically. So just keep sculpting until you get the kind of what it looks like the thigh and the and the foot. Okay, see? 
doesn't have to be perfect, just so you get the gist. We're just going to repeat the exact same process on the other side. While you're sculpting, just keep checking all the time that you're at the same height and that they look symmetrical on the back and on the front, so that they look kind of even. We have the two back legs, and now we're going to do the tail. So for the tail, we're just going to take a piece of about that big, and we're going to just I'm going to fold it in half first, and then I'm going to roll it. And you see how I felted it, that it's thicker the base and then it tapers towards the tip. And I'm going to apply it in the center here, but to the side so that whenever you see it, it will be like so, so that you see the tail from the back. So just felt it into place. Now we're just going to make the front paws, or foot legs with paws. Take two equal amounts again, and we're just going to roll. I'm bending it up so it looks like a little foot. These don't have to be felted too tight right away because we're going to kind of sculpt them into the front of the body. Just make sure that you have the feet well shaped. going to do is we're just going to lay them in the front here. Like I said, we're going to felt these fairly flat. Uh, if it's a little too long, just pull off some of the excess from the top.
claws in the front. Okay, and now we can start with the head. So the head, we're just gonna make a, a ball, basically. Okay, so once you have a ball that's firm enough, you can put that down and we're gonna take a little more of this uh, beige color and we're going to start building the, the mouth of the, we're gonna build up a little. Let's just gather some wool. You can add more if you need to, but. And then we're gonna put on the lower half of the of the face and then just start felting that into, into place. to make the ears. A little triangle. I can take up the other one and do the same thing. them. That has his ears. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna give it a little nose. A little black nose, it'll show more too. And this little black nose is going to be in a triangular shape. Doing two little black dots for eyes. I'm not doing any fancy cat eyes. Okay. 
Cats tend to have well-spaced eyes. So you just kind of put an indentation so you can see where they're going to lay. Like that. There's the kitty's face, and then we can just apply that to the body here. Okay, there we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a little ribbon around. Hope you liked my tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.